Hello everyone, I'm Linda Main and I'm the Interim Director of the School and I'd like to give you all a really warm welcome um, to our convocation. I'd like to give an especially warm welcome to all of our MLIS and our MARA grads and perhaps a really hugely warm welcome to our spring grads who through a roller coaster semester hung in there and completed their studies, which is really very impressive. Now, as we move on with our presentations, we're going to turn the chat off so that we can all listen and enjoy um, our speakers. And then at the end, we will turn the chat back on again when we're running the student video so that you can uh, all send congratulations to our grads. And now I'd like to introduce our first speaker and our host, Dr. Sandy Hirsch, who is a former director of the school and is now the Associate Dean for Academics in our college, the College of Professional and Global Education. Thank you, Dr. Main, and welcome to the iSchool's College of Professional and Global Education. I was privileged to serve as professor and director of the School of Information for the last 10 years, and I'm very pleased to preside over today's celebration. Today represents the culmination of all of your hard work, and I'm extremely proud of each and every one of you. This is a remarkable day, perhaps even more special given all the challenges that we've faced during the last few months. Please take good care of yourselves and your loved ones. Today we are gathered for a convocation, which is a calling together. I'm joined by Dean Ruth Heward, graduating student speaker Sharia, uh, Sharia Almeida, and our invited convocation speaker, Julius Jefferson Jr. I am delighted to have them be part of this ceremony. We will end today's convocation with a special video dedicated to our graduates that was prepared by our student leaders. We are, and we are here today to celebrate your achievements, which you accomplished with the love and support of dear family, friends, and colleagues. Many of you thanked your parents, siblings, spouses, partners, children, and even your pets on your graduate, graduate profile page of the virtual convocation website. It was heartwarming to read your posts I hope those special to you have joined the session to celebrate with you today. Family and friends who are online, please post a congratulatory message on your graduates page after this ceremony. You can also hear each graduate's name read out with their degree on the virtual convocation website. You will find the recordings of today's speeches on the virtual convocation website within the next couple of days. This is our school's 51st convocation since we first achieved accreditation from the American Library Association. Our mission is to educate information professionals who contribute to the well being of our global communities and to expand the library and information knowledge base through research and scholarship. There is so much to celebrate as a school. One of our many highlights of this academic year is that our school expanded our program offerings with the addition of a third master's degree, a MS in informatics, which launched in fall 2019. Our school also moved into a new college, the College of Professional and Global Education, which aligns well with our school's vision and mission. Our school's offerings cover the gamut of career opportunities in the information professions. We offer three master's degrees, a national, nationally ranked and accredited Master of Library and Information Science degree, the Master of Archives and Records Administration, and the new MS in Informatics. We also offer an accredited teacher librarian credential. And we offer two certificate programs, an advanced certificate in strategic management of digital assets and services, and a post-master certificate in library and information science. We also offer a gateway PhD program. This is the fourth year that we have graduates who have earned the MLIS or MARA degree and the advanced certificate in digital assets and services at the same time. Today, we honor our graduates from all of these programs. We are celebrating the achievements of 604 students who are graduating today. Since all of our programs are delivered online, we have graduating students from 42 states and also from Canada and Ecuador. Our graduates today represent a good cross-section of the overall student body. 
and we're grateful that they have entrusted their education to us. Our graduates frequently commented on their graduation profiles that they enjoyed having the opportunity to meet people from all over the world in their classes. One student explained, it was really interesting to work with individuals who are not only from all different parts of the country, but also the world. During my time in the program, I had interactions with students who were frequently on the opposite side of the United States, but there were also times when the students I was interacting with were in other countries like Canada or Saudi Arabia. The diversity of perspectives present in our online programs is also a unique benefit for our students. Students valued these differences. For example, as one student commented, their range in professional experiences, personal experiences, and ages contributed to creating a unique learning environment. Another student said they valued hearing about the different experiences of my classmates who have worked in various institutions and have had life experiences that are different from my own. It is gratifying to see how well prepared, prepared our graduates are to serve our global and diverse communities. Graduating students also expressed that if it weren't for the flexibility of the online format, they would, have not, would not have been able to attain their educational goals. For example, one student said, being able to get my MLIS online is the reason I was able to complete this program. As a busy mom who also works at two different libraries, being able to complete coursework from a laptop on my couch at the, any hour of the day or night made this program possible. I am so grateful for the flexibility of the online learning at SGSU's iSchool. Graduates also shared some of the things that they liked best about online learning, which included, I didn't have to worry about delegating time for travel, parking, or attending class, the class. I could just go on my computer in the comfort of my own home or public library. I also enjoyed working at my own pace. Another student commented on the flexibility of taking school with me wherever I was, whether it was at home, a public library, or on vacation in Vegas and Cabo. One student commented, I had more meaningful and constructive interactions online than I did during my undergraduate at a brick and mortar university. Another student commented, learning online was important for me, especially on my path to becoming an information professional. It has improved my ability to manage time, develop online communication skills, and utilize tools that will be useful in a career that is heavily influenced by emerging technology. Another student said it was an amazing privilege to get to know so many quality friends through Zoom meetings and Google Docs. And on the lighter side, one student said that they enjoyed the online program because I can have my dog as a study partner. And finally, another student appreciated having the ability with online learning of doing homework and listening to lectures while in my pajamas and, and stuffing my face with pizza and cold Thai food. Some graduating students shared their career plans for after graduation. These included things like, it has, been, it, is, it has long been my dream to become an academic librarian and help students develop skills such as information literacy and search techniques that will help them throughout their lives. Another student commented, getting through this program has put a lot of wind in my sail because I am absolutely sure that I did what was right for myself, my career, and my community. Finally, another student said that they look forward to using my skills learned to make an impact on the field. Students also shared what they're looking forward to doing next with their spare time now that they've completed the program. Common responses included relaxing, reading for pleasure, free time with my family, and binge watching shows. I hope you will visit our virtual convocation website and browse their graduate profiles. We offer our students a broad range of courses, enabling them to design their curriculum to best meet their needs and interests. As an example, our courses range from the study of early manuscripts and books to the management and curation of digital assets. We offer many outstanding opportunities for students to get involved in the school, such as serving on the editorial board of our school's student research journal, helping other students as peer mentors, and participating in award-winning student chapters of professional associations. 
One of our new student groups is the First Generation Student Group, which aims to help first-gen students navigate the world of graduate school and their entrance into the professional world. A couple of quotes from first-gen students illustrates how meaningful this graduation is for them and their families. As one student said, I also wanted to achieve this for my family. I will be the first person of my immediate family to receive her master's degree. Another student said, as a first generation graduate student, I wanted to set an example to follow for my children. We also provide um, students and alumni with the opportunity to share their research projects, programs, and case studies demonstrating their community impact by presenting at our school's poster sessions held at the iSchool receptions at professional association conferences. Twelve students graduating this year have taken advantage of this opportunity to hone their presentation skills and build their networks, including our graduation speaker, Shereya Omeda. Their work is inspiring, and we look forward to hosting these poster sessions at future conferences, the American Library Association and the California Library Association. Our school offers many ways to engage with current information professionals and to keep current, such as our highly successful Library 2.0 virtual conference series, which we have now been doing for 10 years. As new alumni, it is my hope that you will participate in the upcoming Library 2.0 mini conference on June 17th, focused on small, rural, and independent libraries, and on October 14th, focused on sustainability in libraries. Participating in the Library 2.0 conferences is a great way to build your professional connections, share your knowledge with others, and continue your lifelong learning. Our open classes program enables professionals to, and to take just a single class or two in our program without being matriculated students. Open classes are an excellent way to continue your professional development and connection with the school after you graduate. In fact, I've already heard that some of you are thinking about doing this. One graduating student said, I also plan to continue taking electives beyond graduation. There are so many interesting courses for which I didn't have time. We also offer free online webinars featuring experts in the field on a variety of relevant topics, including career guidance and diversity. We are very fortunate to have exceptional award-winning faculty, students, and alumni who are influencing the future of the information profession. Several graduating students mentioned their appreciation for their excellent instructors. Each professor gave wonderful feedback and helped me whenever I had questions about an assignment. Each professor put in time and effort into making their class unique and fun, and I thoroughly appreciated that. Another student commented that they appreciated the instructors used creative projects, assignments, and challenging papers to push me beyond my limits and show me that I was able to do far more than I thought possible. I would also like to highlight a couple of uh, facts about our faculty students and faculty from this year. One of our longtime part-time faculty members, Patty Wong, was just elected the 2021-2022 president of the American Library Association. One of our alumni was selected for the highly competitive and, competitive and coveted American Library Association's I Love My Librarian Award, which is awarded to only 10, libra 10 librarians each year. One alumni is among the ALA Emerging Leaders Class of 2020, and another has just been named a library journal mover and shaker, joining 31 others who have previously been selected from our school over the years. Nine of our students were selected as 2019 ALA Spectrum Scholars this year. And I would also like to recognize the four exceptional students who were selected to receive a Director's Award for Excellence for their outstanding efforts during the, their graduate program. Uh, one award was for intellectual inquiry that went to Shelby Silvernell. One was for diversity and inclusion, and that went to Bijan no, um, Noruzian. Uh, one went for innovation, and that went to Amanda Cronkite. And one was for building community, and that went to Elizabeth Burgess. I would like to acknowledge our faculty who are joining us today and our staff who work hard to ensure that everything runs smoothly in the school. We all work to support you in your education and as you enter the professional world. 
As San Jose State graduates, you bear responsibility today and tomorrow for demonstrating the impact that librarians and information professionals have on the well-being of their communities, whether in college and university environments, governmental environments, school environments, public library environments, or corporate environments. Congratulations to all of you. You've done it. You should be proud of your accomplishments. We certainly are. We are supported in our work by the larger university. As I mentioned, the iSchool is now part of the College of Professional and Global Education, and I'm very pleased to introduce Dean Ruth Heward. Families, friends, and colleagues, you have just heard the amazing accomplishments of the School of Information and our graduates. Class of 2020, a warm congratulations on the culmination of your graduate and professional degrees. This is a remarkable achievement, especially in these unprecedented and challenging times. Through the School of Information, you have been exposed to experiences, ideas, and knowledge that have prepared you exceptionally well. You have chosen a vital and innovative 21st century discipline and profession. You understand how critical information is in addressing some of the world's most pressing problems like this pandemic. You understand that a human-centric approach to information and technologies is essential, especially in this moment when millions of data points are being presented every minute of the day. You are deeply aware that there are people behind all this information and that lives and communities are impacted by your analysis, the applications that you develop, and your approach in leading organizations. And gra as graduates of this specific school of information, you are coming from a position of tremendous strength and experience. You know how to remain relevant and connected in this digital age, and specifically in this moment where virtual interactions are a necessity. You have mastered fostering strong relationships at a distance, and you can effectively collaborate across geographical boundaries, time differences, and cultures. This ability to create community, especially in this moment and in this environment, is needed now more than ever. Graduates, today as we celebrate you, be sure to reflect on your accomplishments and take pride in your growth and your achievements. Keep this feeling close, always, and know that our hearts too are filled with tremendous pride and confidence in each of you. You are exactly what our communities and the world need now and into the future. Thank you, Dean Heward. Uh, we are so happy that you were able to join us today. Each year, the faculty invites a student who best exhibits the most exceptional professional promise for leadership to address the convocation. This student receives the Ken Haycock Award for Exceptional Professional Practice and is asked to serve as the graduate speaker. This year's speaker is Sherea Omeda. Sherea is a librarian at the California Men's Colony State Prison where she works firsthand to provide services and access to an underserved population. She began this position a year ago while enrolled in the MLIS program um, uh, while, while, while she enrolled in the MLIS program full time. Uh, Sherea earned her bachelor's degree in English with a creative writing focus from California State University Northridge in 2016. She graduated summa cum laude from, uh, from San Jose State University with a master's degree in library and information science in December 2019. For her outstanding academic accomplishments, she is an invited member of the SGSU chapter, the Phi Beta Kappa Phi uh, Honor Society. After graduating with her BA, Sherea began volunteering with an adult literacy program. Her passion for the written word combined with the public library's role helped um, in helping to provide services to the students she was working with helped her realize that she wanted to pursue a degree in librarianship. She enrolled at San Jose State University with a desire to reach underserved populations through library programs and resources. In addition to her coursework and her work at the state prison, Sherea was also, an act, was also active in iSchool student groups serving as social media manager for the American Library Association student chapter. 
She worked with fellow ALA student chapter board member Beth Cartier to develop the idea of writing a handbook that libraries could use to es help establish free food programs. Sharia and Beth co-presented um, co this idea at the iSchool-sponsored poster session at the American Library Association Conference in June 2019, and again at the California Library Association Conference in October 2019. The exciting news is that the Public Library Association is publishing this handbook called Partnership for Plates, a handbook to reduce food insecurity on the PLA website in 2020. Sharia's passion and dedication to reaching those in need extends beyond the prison walls and far into the community. She continues to seek out new and innovative ways to increase the library's role in providing basic services to those in need. She's considering a master's in social work to deepen her understanding of how libraries can leverage social programs and support for underserved communities. Sharia's post-graduation plans include traveling, becoming a certified Cicerone, and making pottery. As Sharia and all the rest of our iSchool graduates launch the next phase of your careers, I look forward to hearing about all of the ways that you will be at the forefront of be at the forefront and will be making a difference in your communities all around the world. It is my pleasure to present Sharia Omeda. Thank you, Dr. Hirsch, for your generous introduction. I would like to begin by acknowledging the administration, faculty, and staff at San Jose State University iSchool for challenging, supporting, and encouraging us to grow into the information professionals we are today. On behalf of the class of 2020, we thank you for inspiring us, mentoring us, and laying the foundation for the meaningful work we will continue to do. I would also like to thank my friends, family, and partner for their continued love and support. Finally, I would like to thank my peers who shared this experience. You made sacrifices, shared your passion, and worked tirelessly alongside and with one another to complete this program. I am so proud of what we have accomplished. As a child, my parents gave me two precious gifts, a love of the written word and a passion for being of service to others. Although both of these things served as touchstones in my life, my road to becoming a librarian had a few detours. It wasn't until I had completed my bachelor's degree in English and was volunteering with an adult literacy program that I began to develop a deeper understanding of the library's role in the community. Working with my student helped me see past the stacks and realize that the two things I'm most passionate about, books and helping others, converge and flourish at the library. Now, as a librarian at a men's prison, I am presented with challenging and fulfilling ways of providing resources and access to a unique and underserved population. Regardless of our backgrounds, the various roles we currently serve or want to serve in libraries, and the different paths that brought us to this program, we are united in our shared values to raise and support those who need our help. I am honored to have learned from and alongside professionals who are guided by the same values I hold dear. My fellow graduates, we have learned that library service means empowering people with the skills and knowledge they need to be successful. We have learned that uniting communities means developing cultural programs that deepen understanding and spur conversations. We have learned that reaching underserved populations means providing essential resources to homeless and food insecure patrons with dignity and respect. We know that libraries can facilitate a positive change in people's lives, not only through computered skills, continued education, and research assistance, but by providing a free, welcoming space that invites everyone to contribute to building a stronger community. We work together in our classes and stand united in our shared accomplishment. Let us continue to support one another now and in the future and let our unity be reflected in the work we are ready to do for our patrons and communities. As our country emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic and we continue to provide service in new and empathetic ways, let us not doubt our preparedness and ability to adapt resources. For those currently working in libraries and those just entering the field, do not lose sight of the fact that we are graduates of a fully online program who better to navigate and develop resources for patrons overwhelmed by a rapidly shifting landscape? We are the new professionals equipped and ready to apply our knowledge in real and life-changing ways. 
My fellow librarians, I believe that as we close the book on this chapter of our education and enter the evolving world of librarianship, we are well prepared to deconstruct barriers and build lasting bridges that deepen the ways libraries serve individuals and unite communities. Thank you for the amazing things you will accomplish for our patrons and profession. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Sharia, for your wonderful speech and congratulations again on all of your remarkable accomplishments. It is my honor to introduce our school's 2020 convocation speaker, Julia C. Jefferson, Jr., who is the section head of research and library services in the Foreign Affairs, Defense and Trade Division at Congressional Research Service of the Library of Congress. In this role, Julius leads research librarians who provide public policy research and assistance exclusively to members of Congress, congressional committees, and staffers. Julius holds a Bachelor of Arts from Howard University and an MLIS from the University of Maryland. Julius is currently the American Library Association President-Elect, and he will serve as ALA President 2020 to 2021 beginning next month in June 2020. He has also served on a number of critical ALA committees, including the Finance and Audit Committee, the Budget Analysis and Review Committee, and the Intellectual Freedom Committee, wherein, and which he served as chair of from 2010 to 2011. In addition to his service um, to ALA, Julius has held a seat on the board of the Freedom to Read Foundation from 2012 to 2016 and served as the 2013 to 2016 president. He has served as the president of the Dis District of Columbia Library Association. He has also served on the board of the Black Caucus of the American Library Association. Julius is a sought after authority and speaker on issues of important, importance to library workers. He has appeared on a number of media outlets, including National Public Radio. He is co-editor of the 21st Century Black Librarian in America, Issues and Challenges, and is frequently invited as a speaker on library-related issues such as diversity, leadership, and professional development. Julius is an innovative thinker and an inspirational leader who is always willing to try new things and adapt to changing environments all important characteristics of successful information professionals today. I'm very excited that Julius Jefferson Jr. is here to share his thoughts with our uh, graduates today who are just launching their new careers in the library and information science field. It is my great honor to introduce Julius Jefferson Jr. Thank you so much, Dr. Hirsch. And thank you for those great remarks from Dr. Heward and and Sh Shariah, um, outstanding thoughts. So I have the opportunity to share my thoughts. And I, before I do, I just want you to say, want you to know that um, the picture that you see of me was my summer picture. And, and you're looking at me and you're saying, who is this person? Well, this is my COVID-19 beard. So um, this is Julius C. Jefferson Jr. with a COVID-19 beard. So I wanna say congratulations class of 2020 on fulfilling the requirements of the Master of Library and Information Science. Boy, I am pleased to be among the first to welcome you into this profession and share some of my thoughts for you to consider as you embark on what I believe will be a fulfilling career choice. No doubt your academic journey has been particularly noteworthy in the midst of a global pandemic. The fact that the MLIS program is delivered entirely online minimize any disruption in your academic studies and places both San Jose State University School of Information and the profession at the forefront of distance learning. More importantly, those professional skills acquired during your academic studies has laid the groundwork for fulfilling career in the information age. So when Dr. Hirsch asked me in November 2019 to deliver this commencement address, or your new beginning in librarianship. It was with great pleasure that I accepted this honor. Though I am no great sage, I, pict I pictured this as a great opportunity to share lessons that I have gleaned to my 20 plus careers in the profession. On that rainy day in November, 
I immediately began writing ideas I believe would be provocative and inspirational, like the digital divide, a reflection of a large schism, fake news, facts, and public discernment, the role of information science in a democratic society. I knew I wanted to focus on the difference you will make with the educational foundation you received at the iSchool. Well, it is now May 2020, and in just six short months, the world has changed significantly. We now live in a new world, a world confounded by an unforeseen force that has the power to take the lives of those we love and who love us. As a result, our daily lives have been altered. For our collective health, we are ordered to stay in our homes, living and working in a virtual world that includes teaching our children and staying connected by Zooming or Skyping or WebExing all day. Believe me, I am Zoomed and Web WebEx out. We will we wear masks and gloves to go to the store and some of us stockpile toilet paper like it's gold. Since March, our country and many parts of the world have been shut down due to COVID-19. And only now are parts of the country taking the first steps to re-engage. There is much apprehension in the world, rising unemployment, threats and uncertainty surrounding presidential elections and the vote, a glittery stock market that seems to be tethered to any news that would signal the beginning of the end of the pandemic and return to normalcy, whatever that new normal will look like. It has been observed by many others, so I profess no great insight, that the so-called greatest generation lived through wars and the Great Depression. Courage and relying on each other is what got them through and is what will get you through as you now can be our greatest generation squared. In the wake of this pandemic, our first responders have been true heroes and we thank our first responders. As we move through this pandemic, the role of library and information sciences and access to accurate and authoritative information will be critical to discerning facts from hoaxes and fake news. I consider librarians and information professionals second responders. And as second responders, we need you to report for duty. We will all be counting on the San Jose State University School of Information Class of 2020 to make a difference. But you're already on your way. The day you made the decision to be a librarian and study at the iSchool, you are already ahead of the game. While most of the country has been adjusting to a virtual environment, you've thrived in it. You've collaborated, networked, communicated, and presented your ideas in a virtual environment. You work with classmates from all over the country and the world. You work full-time jobs. You care for your families. You did your homework and listened to lectures in your pajamas and even took vacations to Vegas, as Dr. Hirsch said earlier. You did your, you listened to jazz, and some of you were able to get your work done when the children were asleep all while completing your graduate studies. If we are to find a way to resume activities post COVID-19, it will be up to you, the most prepared to thrive in a virtual environment. So here are just a few of my thoughts. And these may be thoughts that you did not learn in your studies. So the first is librarianship as a practice. So I think of librarianship as a practice like like a doctor or a lawyer. Um, doctors continue to evolve as medical science develops. Lawyers uh, have to evolve as laws are amended or new laws are, are written. For me, the practice of librarianship starts with a commitment to satisfying the, the needs of our users and providing access to information supported by a set of core values that manifest through our daily experiences. These core values include a commitment to diversity, intellectual freedom, professional development and lifelong learning, privacy and access. 
Although the day-to-day -day task we perform as librarians constantly evolves as technology evolves, we should never lose sight of these core values. Professional engagement is the second one. Professional engagement is essential to the growth and the growth of our profession. There are many who believe that once you complete your education and begin your first position that you are a librarian. And I know you're all ready to get that first professional position. Remember that you must continue to evolve and network to remain relevant as a librarian. The skills needed to remain an effective librarian are always advancing. And there are many areas of librarianship that your library education only scratches the surface. In some cases, or even in my case, uh, your library education becomes outdated five years after you graduate. Does anybody remember Mark Records or Farba as we are in an RDA world? How do you keep up with the latest advancement after you graduate? Who do you discuss the latest tools and the best vendors? It is a requirement. I repeat, it is a requirement that you become engaged in the profession and the practice of librarianship by becoming active in a local or national library association. Notice I didn't say just join, but I said become active. Professional engagement at conferences is a place where you will continue your personal and professional growth beyond your experiences here at the iSchool by meeting and interacting with new colleagues. Active engagement and a professional association is where you will meet lifelong professional contacts or maybe your next employer. It is, where, it is where you will discuss and hear about new ideas that can move you and your organization to higher heights. It is where you will be around colleagues who are just as passionate as you are about serving your community. It is where I hope to see you one day and learn about all the great things you're doing with your career as I believe there, are, there may be more than a few ALA presidents in this class of 2020. Three, your library education is not limited to the walls of the library. Just as you have navigated 43 credits of coursework in a virtual environment, the opportunities for your work as an informational professional is not limited to the walls of a library. Be bold and creative about the many places that need your skills, your unique skills. There's a need for a librarian or information professional in every business or institution. And to me, that is the best kept secret of your new career. You have the ability to work in a traditional li public library or academic library setting or a myriad of special library settings. The need for data management or working with digital collections is not limited to a library. And traditional library work may not be in a traditional library. I will give you a, a personal example. This is, this is me, and I would put up a graphic, but I, I'm not savvy enough to get it up and, and continue. So just picture this. So I love cars, especially Corvettes. I have a Corvette, and I was gonna have a picture of my Corvette there. So I always think, so if this, this gig I have at the Library of Congress, and the background that you're looking at is, is where I work in the main reading room now of the Library of Congress, if this gig doesn't work out for me at LC, I know that the National Corvette Museum has a library and archives. And yes, I can be a Corvette librarian. And that's probably where I'll end up uh, if, if I don't get my act together. Um, and I'm just joking. But the point is that you can offer your unique set of training in any setting. The next thing is human rights and librarianship go hand in hand. So access to information is a human right, an integral part of the right to freedom of expression. Democracy dies when the people do not have transparency in government or opportunities for economic advancement. Library materials should not be excluded or censored because of sexual orientation, race, economic status, religion, disability, or even if you are incarcerated. If you, if you have not, I encourage you all to read the Library Bill of Rights and Article 19 
of the UN Declaration of Human Rights, everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes the freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. As you begin your career in an uncertain job market, I want you to focus on the skills that you've worked so hard to acquire and the opportunity to create a new reality. We need your unique diverse skills in rural areas, on indigenous land, in prisons, in underserved urban neighborhoods. And when folks are not hiring, we need you to create jobs because the need for accurate authoritative information is the antidote for what ails us all, access to search for our truth. We need innovative entrepreneurial leaders in our profession. We need librarians that integrate a social, social justice point of view, no matter what population you serve. We need you to stay engaged in advocacy and professional development. And I need you to lead the most of us, not just some of us. For many years, you've been told that you are our future. And I'm here to tell you that you, San, San Jose State University, high school class of 2020, are our present and our now. Finally, you've reached this milestone with the help of many champions in your lives. Among your champions, you have listed your family and friends, SO, and I figured that meant significant others, professors, and now I would like you to add me to your list of champions. As president of the American Library Association, my personal goal is to champion you into this modern profession that may at this time be filled with uncertainty, but know that this too shall pass. And together as librarians, information professionals, colleagues, by displaying courage and relying on each other, we will make a difference to the communities we serve. In closing, I'd like to leave you with this Aesop fable, Belling the Cat. A group of mice once called a meeting to decide on a plan to free themselves of their enemy, the cat. At least they wished to find some way of knowing when she was coming so they might have time to run away. Indeed, something had to be done for they lived in such constant fear of her claws that they hardly dared stir from their dens at night or day. Many plans were discussed but none of them was thought good enough. At last, a very young mouse got up and said, I have a plan that seems very simple, but I know it will be successful. All we have to do is hang a bell around the cat's neck. When we hear the bell ringing, we will know immediately that our enemy is coming. All the mice were much surprised that they had not thought of such a plan before. But in the midst of rejoicing over their good fortune, an old mouse arose and said, I will say that the plan of the young mouse is very good, but let me ask one question. Who will bell the cat? It is one thing to say that something should be done, but quite a different matter to do it. So I say to you, as you graduate and move into your new profession, let's go bell this cat. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Julius, uh, for joining us today and for sharing your words of wisdom. Uh, we're really grateful to you for your leadership and also grateful to you for helping us to celebrate our fantastic new graduates um, today. So thank you again. I opened today's ceremony by reminding us that the word convocation means a calling together. I'm very pleased that 469 individuals and groups joined in the ceremony today from all around the world. Today also represents your new beginning as a graduate of our school's programs and the beginning of what we hope will be a very fulfilling and meaningful career in the field of library information and archival professions. Please let, us, um, please let our school know when you land that dream job and continue to stay in touch with us in the future as you progress through your career. I look forward to hearing of your accomplishments and contributions in the future. I hope you will share your work experiences with us on the Alumni Career Spotlight page. 
come to our school's receptions at professional association conferences, and participate in our community impact poster sessions at future conferences. With our speakers' words of wisdom whirling in your head, anticipation for the future, smiles galore, and booming applause from all around the world, we conclude this virtual um, graduation celebration with a special video. Your fellow iSchool students have worked very hard to highlight the many faces and personalities of the class of 2020. The video is about 25 minutes long. Please watch it and treasure every moment of this momentous day. We will now turn the chat back on during the video so that people can congratulate the graduates. We also hope you enjoy your celebration with friends and families after you have watched the video. The video will conclude our convocation. Congratulations again, and we wish you all the very best.
Thank you.